गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज ऑन फ्यूजन 360 सो वी विल बी मेकिंग दिस ब्लॉक इन फ्यूजन 360 दिस वीडियो इज अगेन फॉर द वेरी बिगनर्स हु आर वेरी न्यू टू द फ्यूजन 360 एंड डोंट नो मच अबाउट द 3D मॉडलिंग सो दिस वीडियो विल फोकस ऑन देयर बिगनर्स स्किल्स टू डेवलप so without wasting any time let's get started as you guys can see i have given an isometric view it's just a simple block and radius 1 is shown here so all the dimension are given here so i will just start by making a, a, a rectangular block in first and first and the size of the rectangular block is the maximum length width and the height of this block so you can see the front to back the maximum height that this block has is 26 and the height from this point to this point is 21 and again from this point to this point is 20 uh 5 so that means from the lowest to the highest point this blocks measures 26 uh, mm and again from this point to this point you can see is 39 plus 7 and again the 7 would be here also so 7 7 14 14 plus 39 is the total length from here to here So let's get started. Switch to your workspace and click on Create Sketch and select the first plane. Click on it and draw a rectangle like this, and press D for dimension and give this a dimension. As you guys can see, this is 26 and this is 21 plus 5, 26. So this is 26 by 26. So give this dimension. basically it's a square 26 press enter and again give this dimension as 26 and you may press enter and then you can finish the sketch then click on extrude command and extrude it and be it be a new component and just to be sure the distance is 39 plus 7 plus 7 so you don't have to actually measure it Measure that. So just press thirty-nine uh, plus seven plus seven. Um. Okay. Now we have our block ready. Now the next thing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this slope. Because as you can see, this is from five mm here and downwards towards here. So just click on this sketch and line and draw a and. press l for line or you can select it from here and from here to this point draw a line press t for dimension from this point to this point give this dimension as 5 and press enter and finish the sketch again click on extrude and just extrude cut this profile like this and press okay now once done what uh, the next thing what i'm going to do is is to cut out these steps so for that i'm going to make a sketch on top of the profile and the dimension of this is given here the from here to here is 11 and from top portion is here to 5 and the depth is 5 we don't have to measure this point so what i'm going to do click on line and press ok and again draw a rectangle like this and press t for dimension from this point to this point give this as a dimension of 11 mm so this is 11 mm like this and from this point to this point give this as a dimension of 5 like this and you may finish the sketch Hey, uh, so uh, basically, I have done some mistakes. So just edit this sketch and delete this 5 mm profile here. We just need a constant 11 mm from here, like this. And I am going to make this profile extruded downwards up to a distance of minus 5. As you guys can see here, it's minus 5 here. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to make this. Uh, hole and of course this profile so for this hole what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the a square 17 by 17 here and one dimension is missing from this point so this point so we will be taking this dimension as 7 mm for now because it's i missed a dimension given here and this is just a hole so again click on sketch 
and on this very plane I am going to create a uh, 17 mm press tab for switch to next toolbar and press enter once done what I am going to do is I am going to press L for line a line like this now I am going to make a symmetric so I am I will I want this line to be symmetric to these two lines like this and then make this rectangle symmetric to this and once done press T for dimension and from here to here give this as a dimension of 7 mm and you may finish the sketch now extrude it like this like this and now once the sketch is complete uh, remember now we have to uh, make this hole but remember we, we, sh we, we could not use extrude commands cause extrude only works on the normal profile for example let me show you if I just select on this and this as you guys can see it is normal to the plane but I want it to at some certain angle so we are going to use the swift command so for the swift select the path as these two profiles and select the path as this and make it cut like this and press ok now as for the last thing this block as you guys can see this block is 6.7 mm in height and 7 mm wide so it's simple I'm going to make it on this very profile uh, draw a rectangle like this press T for dimension give this dimension as 7 and the height of this would be 16.7 and press enter and you may uh, mirror this uh, for mirroring this just select this all these uh, yeah select this and the mirror line would be this line and press enter now go to extrude select this body and this body and extrude it up to a distance of remember the distance from this point to this point is 26 mm so up to a distance of 26 and the operation would be joined the distance would be negative and the operation would be joined and press ok now as for this point is concerned I left it out just to uh, show you the other way uh, you may also create a mid plane for example go to here and click on mid plane select this plane and this plane and press ok now we have a mid plane here what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror the feature so mirror the features the feature uh, remember this feature this feature is I think it's here yeah extruded extruded one and the mirror plane is this and press ok now it will seem take some time for the adjustment and this is how your profile will look like now you may hide the sketch the construction plane only the body remains now as per the radius as you guys can see it's got the 1 mm radius on all across its edges so click on fillet and let me just window selection and click on fillet select all the edges and press 1 and press enter now this is how this is how your profile will look like after the completion so you can find the 2d drawing of this file in the description file below so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day